Hello and welcome to another episode of Lemur's Corner. I am Lemur and today guys we're going to cover all that is ARC. We're going to talk about dedicated servers for console. We're going to talk about patch notes for PC, PS4, and Xbox. And we're going to talk about new content coming out for ARC. So let's go ahead and start talking about those patch notes right off the bat. First things first, PC came out with some minor patch notes. Some of the big things you guys want might want to check out. One is the industrial guild now has increased damage or increased slot counts. Auto hurts now have 10% increased damage. They increase the damage on tech grenades. Fabricated snipers have a lower fire rate and plusies have a higher stamina that's base. Other than that, really, uh, there's a lot of fixes for other things, minor stuff. Uh, spray painters cannot be under used water, or used underwater, I forgot about that one. And turrets no longer shoot through your unclaimed babies or the unclaimed babies of your allies, which is awesome. So we can now have turrets next to our dino breeding areas. So basically you guys can see that all this stuff is updates, there's some minor ones, this is minor updates until the PC comes out. However, there is a big mid-August update coming out soon, uh, which we'll get into later. I apologize for that guys. Um, we're going to go ahead and keep going through that. So next thing is just check out what PS4 has got going on. Really the biggest thing is for PlayStation 4 and Xbox is the dedicated servers and all the issues that have surrounded them. They claim they have fixed both of them specifically with PS4. If you guys have any questions, I will include this link in here. or I will put this in the description so that you guys can find it. But they changed one thing right here. You guys can see how to get into new. Uh, if you're having issues with unofficials and officials, I will put those in the link in the description. Uh, and on top of it, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys that they did change the placement mode so that you guys can jump places pretty much. The biggest thing that it is, you guys can see right here, and it's the same thing for Xbox. It's a big thing, but they did fix it so where you guys can join servers again. You have to delete some uh, information and stuff, and it, it kind of stinks. But... Uh, that's the only way you guys can get it to work until the game comes out, kind of that thing, that sucks. Next thing, Xbox. So pretty much, they've done all this stuff, they're fixing all this, transferring, putting in the tribes, <clears throat> all that kind of stuff. They did give you guys the jump placement, and they fixed supposedly the dedicated issues that they crashed right after launch and everything. And so be it. Uh, as you guys can see, this upcoming version, you guys get Ragnarok on the 29th. And really, uh, there's a lot of fixes for Xbox. They had a lot of issues under there. They got rid of some stuff. They've been catching them up for a while now. Uh, they did uh, complete the jump puzzle uh, in there and everything. So that's really what's going on here, guys, for, for the, the updates. It's a lot of bug fixes. I'm not really trying to go into it too hard. I will link all three of these into the description if you guys want to check up on them and find out where your system is at. Let's go ahead and now jump into, let's just jump into dedicated servers for a second, because I know a lot of people have been asking about that. Dedicated servers, everyone knows I want to do a PlayStation 4 and an Xbox dedicated server. So if you guys are looking for what's going on with that, it looks like it's going to be mid-August, so possibly within the next couple days, you guys could see possibly some dedicated servers coming out from me. However, I want to talk about these dedicated servers, and I want to get some feedback from you guys. So very specifically, I'm asking for feedback in the comment sections from those who plan on playing on a dedicated server of Lemur's Corner, and that really comes down to PC Council dedicated servers. These are going to be allowed in mid-March <clears throat> sorry not mid-March mid-August however it looks like if you guys basically in a nutshell it's gonna looks like PS4 is on track to be released mid-month however there's some issues with the Xbox ones but the catch is is <clears throat> on the 29th is when Ragnarok gets released and as of right now it does not look like we will get Ragnarok so the question is do we want to start up a server prior to the 29th or we just want to launch it on the 29th when the game comes out, everyone gets Ragnarok and have it ready for you guys on the 29th. I'm leading towards just doing it all on the 29th, releasing Ragnarok and all that kind of fun stuff and do it kind of as a big arc release Yahoo kind of thing and really get it out there for you guys. So let me know what you guys think if you guys agree. I know a lot of people are looking for dedicated servers earlier than that, but my feeling is it's for two weeks. Is it really worth it to go play on another server or just to jump over to Ragnarok? And let me know what you guys think. So pretty much that's what it's coming down to. Let me guys know what you guys think. I, I plan on doing one for each. It's going to be PvP on Ragnarok is what the overall goal is. You guys can get almost everything on there. Eventually they're going to expand Ragnarok. Once they do that, then we'll get... <clears throat> I apologize. We'll get further into the other information. However, as I said, I want to keep expanding it. So if you guys want more maps and more abilities to jump between different maps and get that kind of stuff going, support on Patreon is the biggest way to do that. 
and will keep getting bigger and bigger and keep getting larger and larger things. So the next thing is we are going to talk about the future of Arc. Now that we've talked about dedicated servers, we've talked about the past, let's talk about where it's going. And in Community Crunch 99, we have all kinds of new stuff coming out very specifically. We have the Otter. He looks really cool, kind of cute too. But moving on, Beta Mars the Otter just looks like it, it produces pearls for you is what it really looks like. It, it's the biggest thing and you have a chance to get a black pearl on it. So that's pretty much what it looks like. It looks like it needs to be on water when it does it. So it looks like more and more we're gonna have to have bases on water, near water, or have multiple bases in areas. But that's really what it comes down to. You guys can see right here, the goal is it, the fish it consumes for finding pearls and even chance of black pearls. So you guys can see that. So now that we've talked about that and living on that kind of stuff, let's talk about some of the other new items that they're gonna be coming out with. Now this is the mid mark this is the mid-August release. So this all should come out at the same time and it should be completely part of the expansion here. And one of the biggest things is Tech Sword, Tech Shield, Tech Light, Tech Sword means you guys can go do a charge attack and arm a PC at piercing. Tech Shield can pretty much protect you from everything. I'm assuming it's got a cooldown of some sort. And you guys can see Tech Light, you can just throw a light up like right here. You guys see them right here. And it runs off of generators. So that's really cool. And I'm really excited about that. So the tech's going to get some upgrades. But now the biggest thing that everyone's really excited about is this right here. Ragnarok is getting a massive update, and I mean massive update. That means epic boss encounters, new caves, hidden temple, beaches, Tasmania, lowlands, tropical desert, and the coastal Wyvern Canyon. That means we are going to get all kinds of new stuff, guys. This, this, they're saying it's about it's going to be a large update and approximately the size of the island. That means they're expanding it. They're finally bringing it out for you. You guys can see some of the great images that are coming out here. You guys can see that the desert's coming, so that means we can get all the rest of the dinos. And here's the big catch, guys. Look at this. We can officially tame Titan Boas. That's right. Titan Boas are coming to Tameable on Arc. I'm super excited that it's going to be fun. Their taming method will involve alluring these terrified snakes with fertilized eggs to feed on. So it looks like it's going to be kind of along the line of Trudons. So that's where we're at right now. And this is uh, possibly a mid update. This also might come out a little bit later. You guys can see here, this is we're talking about the dedicated servers. But that's really the big updates that are coming out. I'm really excited for a lot of these. These are are really good. Um, however, <clears throat> um, I want to talk about a couple comments that were made in the digest, uh, and these are very, very big, big things for all of you that play Vanilla Arc. So you guys can see the question here. Building is one of the most important things in Arc. Building systems long overdue for some love. Do you have any plans improving the building systems in your future, like improved snapping triangle pieces, like an S plus decorations, etc.? So here is the exact quote that they have. We are investing in investing the possibility of including structures plus as an official integrated feature beyond an officially supported mod. Pretty much in a nutshell, they're saying they might make S plus just part of the game. It might just be part of it. No promises yet. It depends on how much of a clean implementation it proves to be. So that means, guys, be aware. You might have S plus coming permanently to Vanilla WoW. That means S plus equals Vanilla WoW. So that's the biggest thing that I could see them doing. I think that's a great idea that they're doing that. I think it could be really, really kind of cool and all kind of stuff. Um, for those of you guys who are wondering, uh, there are two more expansions that are still going to be coming, uh, and there's going to be additional beyond those. Basically, they'll see how they go, but we'll see what happens, and the game's going to keep coming. So don't worry about it. You guys should read these. These these things are awesome. It's really really kind of cool, and I'm I'm really excited about all this kind of stuff. And as you guys can see, there's all kinds of stuff. Um, that they're talking about in here. I'm not trying to <laughs> talk about it, um, but if you guys see that they're talking about doing some kibble feedback and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of give you guys a nutshell of everything that's going on. I know I talked about the start state of ARC pre-release. Now this is a massive update to the pre-release of ARC since that video. So uh, I'm going to put this up and it's going to be great. So I hope you guys, if you guys are new to the channel, you guys subscribe to the channel. Keep a follow on what's going on, all of our tutorials and everything. And as always, guys, give us a thumbs up if you liked the video. And as I said, as I called for earlier, please leave some comments down below, guys. I need uh, some feedback on what you guys are thinking, what you guys are excited for. And of course, on specifically on PS4 and Xbox, on those servers and all the information around those. So if you guys want to come to those servers, let me know what you think on the 29th, and I'll open that all up. And of course, as always, if you want to get whitelisted, you got to be a, a Patreon on there. So make sure you guys are Patreons if you want to be whitelisted. I can't guarantee I'm going to have these 100-person servers right now. 
off the bat, it could be smaller servers from 20 to 25 people. I'll let you guys know as I know more moving into that time frame. And as always, guys, make sure you guys have a fantastic day, and we'll see you on the next episode of Lemur's Corner.